And winter is officially here. Astronomical winter begins today with the winter solstice. It's the shortest day of the year, with most Americans seeing about 9 hours and 26 minutes of daylight. For sun lovers, the winter solstice brings some good news. It marks when the days start getting longer. Let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Dylan Robichaud. Dylan, how much daylight are we going to see today? Uh, not a lot. It's going to be about 8 hours and 54 minutes compared to almost 16 hours on the first day of summer. So let's go ahead and uh, take a deep dive into exactly what causes the seasons because it's very interesting and it all has to do with the tilt of the earth. So again, today is the first day of winter and uh, on the first day of summer, what happened was that the Tropic of Cancer, about 23 degrees latitude north, was getting all that direct radiation. And so because we're tilted towards the sun, we get a lot more radiation and we have longer days. Consequently, now on the first day of winter, now the southern hemisphere, the Tropic of Cancer, is getting all that direct radiation. And so that means that the days are going to be longer in the southern hemisphere as they have their first day of winter. Uh, by the way, or I'm sorry, first day of summer in the southern hemisphere. The Antarctic Circle now gets 24 hours of daylight and then here at the Arctic Circle, zero hours of daylight. The equator has roughly 12 hours all year round. Now today your sunrise was at 744 AM, sunset 436 PM. So that brings us to eight hours and 52 minutes. As we go to the next uh, couple of weeks or so, look at this. Now we start adding some daylight. And in fact, just three weeks from today, the sunset will be at almost 5 p.m. in the afternoon. Now on the first day of summer, we're at the top of this curve. We're talking 15 hours and 30 minutes of daylight. Right now we are way down here, eight hours and 54 minutes to be exact. And so it's going to be a long road up here, but we will get there on the 22nd of June. Albert.